Hello everyone. Today we are on an island called Biliran Island, another off the beaten path place on our travels here in the Philippines. And we came here from the Camotes Islands where we filmed the last few videos. So from there we had to get a ferry to a place called Ormoc in Leyte, which took about two hours. And then we got a two hour van to the spot that we're in right now, which is called Naval, the city. And the place that we stay in is called Marvin Seaside Inn. It's just like a simple room, pretty nice, good internet. So that's good for us. And it's $30 a day. And we're also on the coast, so that's nice, but you can't really swim here. There's no beach or anything. And the place has a restaurant too. So yeah, that's very convenient. We also get some pretty nice views from our room. So we haven't explored the island yet, but yeah, it looks absolutely beautiful already. Loads of mountains, as you can see. And that pool is part of our resort, so yeah, we also have a pool here. So one of the main things that attracted us to this island is that there are some spectacular waterfalls here. So yeah, we're gonna be exploring some amazing waterfalls in this video. So we lasted about 10 minutes because once again we got caught in the rain. We were here all yesterday but we were resting and it was just sunny and nice the whole day. And then the day we decided to go out it's raining. This is kind of how it is around here though. Just loads of farmland. The problem is we want to go to those mountains back there that you can't even see anymore because they're in the clouds. So yeah I don't know how it's going to be. Oh and the rental is 400 a day. We got it for two days overall it's a lot of bamboo the guy is very strong yeah old guy too So we decided to come to the waterfall. This first one is called Ulan Ulan Falls. It was 20 per person. It's not raining right now, so hopefully it stays like this. Problem is the trail is extremely slippy. This might be one of the slippiest trails that we've been on, but she said it's just three minutes away. You can already hear it down there somewhere. Don't fall, Carol. Yeah. Mm. At least they have these things that you can grab. Oh yeah, without that we'd be screwed. I just love all the, the plants and the nature, just amazing here. Yeah, the surroundings here are absolutely awesome. Yeah, there are a few people here, aren't they? Yeah, more than I expected. It's a Sunday, so yeah, more people will be about, but we thought because of the rain, maybe not. Wow, look at that. Incredible. Just like you said, because of the scenery surrounding it. Yeah, everything is so green. So this is what I was saying guys, this is one of the reasons that we came here for waterfalls like this. Probably even more powerful now because of all the rain. Before we continue with this video, we're going to talk about the sponsor of this video, Surfshark, which is our recommended VPN provider, and they now have an even better Black Friday holiday deal. During our travels, we have to frequently connect to public Wi-Fi, so Surfshark allows us to have a private connection, keeping our personal information and data safe from potential hackers. Surfshark also allows you to avoid online restrictions when visiting internet-restricted countries. 
Using Surfshark, you can access any website or app anywhere in the world. Besides this, Surfshark also gives you access to all Netflix libraries. Depending on the country that we are, we have access to limited series and films on Netflix, but with Surfshark we can set our devices to a different location and that way I can continue to watch my Brazilian TV series or any other series that I want anywhere. Additionally, Surfshark now has servers in over 100 countries, which makes it even more ideal for us as travelers. And with just one single account, you can connect to unlimited devices, which means you can use it on all your family devices. Click on the link in the video description to get the special Black Friday holiday deal, which is 85% off and three months for free. And that also includes a 30 day money back guarantee. Man, the, the spray coming off it. <laughs> Getting soaked just from here. How do we even film because the camera just gets all wet so here on the left side there's less spray so easier to film up close hello <laughs> it's our new friend what? i said you're our new friend yeah <laughs> <laughs> how much do you know i love you in portuguese <laughs> So I'd say that this is probably one of the most beautiful waterfalls that we've seen in the Philippines. Maybe the nicest ones were in Cebu, I don't know. Yeah, or uh, Sinki Ho, also the, that, those uh, blue ones are very nice, but this is, is that too. Subscribe. Nothing like Subscribe. Yeah. We're going to subscribe your channel. Like and subscribe, and like, share. subscribe and share. Jump in face hat. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Bye everybody. God bless. So it's the next morning now and we've come to a port here called uh, Kawaiian and we're gonna do a boat tour to a beautiful island here called Sambawan. So we just arrived here, we didn't book it before, we just uh, organized with some people here. They did charge 5,000 at first, but we're going for 4,000. I read online that it's supposed to be around 2,500, 3,000, but yeah, we don't really mind paying uh, 4,000 anyway. So that's what we're doing right now. And the island is just over there. I can actually see it in the distance, but they said it does take an hour to get there. It's that group of islands at the back. <laughs> So we have some unfortunate news already. So when we arrived on the island, the people that are on the island were actually preparing to leave because they said there's a typhoon coming. So they're not actually supposed to accept any guests today. And he said we only got about 30 minutes to an hour on the island. We were supposed to stay um, like four hours here. So um, yeah, obviously we don't want to be trapped here with a typhoon too. I didn't even know there was a typhoon coming today. I mean, you can't really see that there's a typhoon coming right now. Guess we'll have to make the most of this hour. Look how beautiful the, the island is though. So we're obviously the only guests since they're not even open properly. So 
it's around 9.40 and I just spoke with the guy. We're actually going to have two hours here. So not so bad. Two hours is quite a long time, actually. That would be okay. 30 minutes would have been uh, really sad since it, since it took an hour to get here. And he said the typhoon is coming around 1, 2 o'clock. And it's only 9.40 now. So that's why I said to him, oh, we can't go in two hours time. It'll still be like around 11, right? 11.40. Obviously, we don't want to be here when the time typhoon hits, but yeah, I think we'll be here for two hours. So you can stay here the night, by the way, and they have these little places here to eat. It couldn't be the Filipino island experience without a happy beach, they'll go. Oh, look at him. <laughs> there we go, Sambawan Island, Maripipi Biliran. So Maripipi is that island there. It's a volcano, a volcanic island. You can definitely tell from the, the format. Was that where we came from over there? Yeah, that's the island that we are at. Biliran. Biliran, yeah. Man, it's covered in the clouds. So they have a view deck on top apparently with some good views. So yeah, we're just heading up there before we relax at the beach. This island's kind of different too because you have this uh, long I don't know if it's grass, reeds, don't see that very often on uh, islands in the Philippines. So there were a few islands to choose from, just like anywhere in the Philippines there's loads of little islands scattered around. So we could have gone to another one that has like the classic sandbar, but we chose this one instead because yeah, it looks kind of different. Already some beautiful views from here, gonna look even better at the top. From the watchtower you can definitely see everything so this is the side that we arrived on a few little beaches here too it's like a long little thin island unusual formation and i guess this is the main beautiful beach wow that's a perfect shot isn't it <laughs> with the volcano in the background here isn't really a sandy beach it's kind of made up of broken corals some cool looking remains of corals so i think normally you'd be able to rent snorkel gear here and do like kayaking and stuff obviously not now though not today yeah the weather in the tropics is just so bizarre and unpredictable every day though so now it's kind of cloudy here on this side but yeah look at the beautiful blue skies there at the back Certainly wouldn't imagine that a typhoon's coming. It's strange though, because we have uh, local SIM cards and in the past you usually get like a text message with a typhoon alert saying that a typhoon's coming. We have signal as well, but yeah, there's nothing mentioning any typhoon at all. So it would have definitely been a nice place to stay the night. Yeah, if only we knew about it, but uh, when we found out that there was like a camping site here, we had already booked our place in Vidian, so yeah, that's why you're not staying the night. Also because of the typhoon that's yeah. coming, we wouldn't uh, be able to stay either way. Yeah, it's probably actually a good idea that we didn't know about it, because we would have definitely booked to stay the night here, and then we would have found out that we would have had to leave, so. That would have been even more of a disaster.
So we're leaving the beautiful island now. It's about 11 o'clock, so yeah, we stayed about an hour and a half overall. Best not get too close to the typhoon time. It's not like a big storm that's coming over here. I think just the water's gonna get uh, really rough. So probably it'd be bad to leave. But I don't think like a huge storm's actually gonna come over in the sky. So I think it's just the water conditions that's the, the main problem. On our way to find a restaurant and we just had to stop here check this out we have the carabao spa <laughs> look at this <laughs> oh look at this guy hello there so this is the philippines water buffalo so you see them around in the fields the rice fields but yeah i don't think we've ever seen them in like a big pool before cooling down so we ended up having to come back to naval the main city where we're staying because we didn't see any eateries or restaurants on the side of the road on the on the way so yeah, i think this is like one of the only options i think we might resort to jollibee right <laughs> yeah because i think most of the places that are open now they're like uh, snacks and this place has meat look uh, but i think that's the takeaway it's not like a restaurant yeah we'll just go to jollibee then the easy option didn't expect to be eating Jollibee today yeah so this is how it looks around here pretty chill it's not like a big busy city really groceries so for those of you that watch this channel you'll know what we got already tuna pies and lots of them <laughs> so it's just uh, two tuna pie meals which comes with the fries and a drink and then we just got three extra I'll have three Carol will have two so that was 470 overall. Jolly Bee to the rescue. one of the nicest places we've ever been on a scooter. I mean look at that over there. <laughs> it's like a volcano or something. Wow. Yeah we're not exaggerating by how beautiful this island is. I, I honestly think it's the nicest one that we've ever ridden around. But I mean look at the scenery that you get here. It almost looks like uh, how I would imagine Hawaii or something. Incredible. Also got another carabao here not chilling in a pool he's eating the plants look at the size of that guy though huge This second waterfall that we've come to is called Tinago Falls. I think it's like the second most visited one alongside the other one that we visited at the start of the video. So it was 20, just like the other falls. Not quite sure where the entrance is. I don't think it's down here. I think this is just a river. Beautiful river though. All right, there we go. Yeah, completely different to the other waterfall, the, the surrounding. There's only us here. Yeah, we're the only people. Guess we gotta go through here, haven't we?
Yeah, this one seems to be a bit colder than the first one. Still nice though. But now you can probably see why we said that we came to Biliran mainly for the waterfalls. Incredible deserted waterfalls like this. I read online that there's actually 30 waterfalls here on Biliran. And it is a small island, so yeah, it really is like waterfall overload. I don't think a lot of them are that accessible. But there are other ones that are just as accessible as these ones that we come to. These ones have been really easy to get to, especially this one. It wasn't even really a hike or anything, just over these stones right here. temperature it's cold. <laughs> it is quite shallow here though it doesn't get like deep or anything and we're right next to the fall Woo! loads of birds flying around I don't know if you can see them on the GoPro whoa man it's hard to even get close because it's so powerful really really strong current I don't even think I'd be able to swim over to that I can't even walk forward right now <laughs> this is like as far as I can go Try, try and get closer. Go. Really powerful. close to the lower falls now really nice one especially with the main one in the backdrop so I confirmed that you can jump from here just about but only this area right here over there is too shallow so should be good You've got to bend your legs though ready uh -huh. now it's my turn Yeah, it's fine to jump, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and the ground's sandy. Not rocky, you know. Yeah, it's soft. Well, that is one view. All the falls. <laughs> So just like the beginning of the video started absolutely throwing it down we were just about to leave as well so people live around here we saw these locals walk through here i guess this is their only pathway home and they crossed 
with kids. Yeah, and just went into like the jungle there somewhere. Saw quite a few people doing that. I think there's some steps there. So yeah, I guess there's some houses in there somewhere. So since we're waiting for the rain to pass, I might as well complete the story about the typhoon. So we found out later on that there was no typhoon today. So the lady that arranged the tour for us in Biliran, she told us what actually happened. And what actually happened is the mayor of Maripipi that like volcanic island in front of Sambawan. He was visiting the island of Sambawan. So the island was closed off just for him and his group. But the people in Biliran that we did the tour with, they didn't know. So that's why they took us on the tour there. But the part that we don't understand is why they didn't just tell us what happened that the mayor was coming. Cause yeah, it was worse for us that they said typhoon, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, it was like disappointing because like you said, why didn't they just tell us the truth? Uh, it would be better because we were, we, we even got scared of the typhoon. We were like thinking about the plans because tomorrow we have a, a ferry to catch. So we were like, oh, maybe we need to change it. And yeah, you were even looking at airports to maybe fly yeah. out of in case so, they canceled the ferry <laughs> uh -huh, because the typhoon is a big thing and we didn't want to be in danger a mayor so, visiting is not that yeah, big of a deal it would have been okay to uh, if that was the case that they told us the truth about the, the yeah mayor. that they just made a mistake yeah they made a mistake and they lied to us so that was not not nice but i also said to carol in a way we did get lucky because if the people in billy ran knew that the mayor was going and it was closed off we, we wouldn't have even been able to go to the island at all because we're leaving tomorrow so at least we got an hour and a half there so in a way we did still get lucky even though we didn't get the four hours that we paid for yeah we wouldn't have gone at all and we're still happy that we went either way because the island was beautiful so a weird situation kind of lucky kind of unlucky and we're going to close the video out here so yeah once we leave we're just going to go back to our place and the next videos are going to be from coming in which is supposed to be another absolutely incredible island. So really looking forward to that. If you like this one, just drop a like as usual to support us. Subscribe to see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and we'll see you in the next one.